Thank you, Madam Chair. Allow me uh, to start by congratulating our host and the Albanian team for the excellent work and leadership in OSCE this challenging time. Uh, it may seem that international political and legal environment is sufficient for peaceful coexistence. Nevertheless, it's worrisome to observe that some participating states have been consistently challenging the European security order and this organization's principles and values. This year is seventh year of war in temporarily occupied Eastern Ukraine and the illegal annexation of Crimea. The situation in the Crimean Peninsula is, in particular is not improving. Russia keeps uh, militarizing the region. The human rights violations of local Ukrainians and Crimean Tatars continue. So does uh, Russia's passportization of the population in Donbas, artificially cha changing the character of the region. We welcome Ukraine's constructive approach and dedicated commitment to achieving the peace. Uh, we also welcome initiative to create international Crimean platform. We reiterate our support for Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity within its uh, internationally recognized borders and urge international community to continue to stand firm regarding the non-recognition of Crimea, Crimea's annexation. We call on Russia to demonstrate goodwill and seek political solution in full respect of Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. The tensions in the occupied Georgian regions of Abkhazia and Skinvali, as well as uh, recent uh, flare-up over Nagorno-Karabakh, highlight the need for sustainable solution for protracted conflict conflicts. The ceasefire between Armenia and Azerbaijan was an important step to prevent further loss of human rights. However, it must be noted that Russia sidelined other co-chairs of the OSCE Men's Group in this process, and here we would like to express our support to the mediation efforts within the Men's Group, co-chairs former thought, thoughts uh, negotiated solution uh, to the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. Mean, mean, meantime, uh, the conflict remains unsolved, just like other frozen conflicts in our neighborhood, which serve uh, as, as a rule, as instruments of Russia's foreign policy. The political crisis in Belarus is another sore point in our region. Timely comprehensive report under the Moscow mechanism has confirmed the massive and systematic human rights violations and abuses committed by the Belarusian regime against its own citizens. Before, during and after presidential election in August this year, as widespread human rights violations continue, I take this opportunity to once again call on the de facto authorities to reconsider their stance and put an end to violence against Belarusian people. I also encourage all the participating states and all of the international community to fully implement the recommendations provided in the report. Madam Chair, over the past year, the security challenges have become even more complex due to increased levels of propaganda, disinformation, and cyber attacks. In political military domain, we continue to face limited transparency, selective implementation and violations, of international agreements. More than ever, we need to redouble our efforts to preserve and strengthen com commonly agreed instruments. Lithuania invites all participating states and Russia in particular to engage and contribute constructively to Vienna document modernization for the sake of more trust, predictability, and security in the Euro-Atlantic region. We value the treaty to open skies as a legally binding instrument to promote military transparency and predictability. We regret to note that none of uh, Russia's non-compliance issues, in particular as to the unilateral limitation of the flight distance over the Kaliningrad region, were resolved. Uh, Madam Chair, we, will, uh, we are still far away from the perfect world. Uh, the security map of our region continues to face serious challenges and ongoing conflicts, but this is no excuse to give up trying. And finally, also let me wish a big success to the incoming Swedish chairmanship. Also would like to express our support to future candidates to chairpersons in office Poland and North Macedonia, and welcome uh, and support the, the determination of Estonia to present its candidacy for the chairmanship in 2024. Thank you very much.